Previously in the sixth episode, Liger was finally selling his unusuals that got affected by the bot's shutdown. I finally got rid from the two most annoying unusuals I bought. Sometimes these two buy orders like are not here and only one buy order. A fair key stays in here, so this was so annoying. It looked like super bad to sell. I mean, look at this. The other bot is gone already. You see this? Also, Liger went crazy and spent 120.5 keys on unusual weapons. And guess how much I paid for these two? Yeah, your eyes aren't deceiving you. So that's 120.5 keys in total. Will he be able to resell? Let's see. All right, and on this trade, I'm buying this Miami Knight unusual for my Chieftains unusual plus the all class unusual and six keys. The Chieftains unusual I got for 10.5 keys. The all class unusual I got for 12 keys. So that's 22 keys and a half plus six keys. So it's like I'm paying 28 keys and a half for his unusual. His unusual has buyers at 27 in backpack and in STN as well. The sellers are all around 38 keys, which is not bad at all. My old unusuals, however, they were so bad between the buyers and the sellers. I mean, the all class had buyers at 10 and the chieftains had buyers at 9. Getting this unusual for 28 and a half is really good because I believe it can sell for 29 easily and that's at least a half key profit but I'm gonna try and look for more as usual and I think the trade is accepted there we go this is uh, also an all class which is gonna make it super easy to sell and yeah Miami Nights is not bad at all and here is how we're looking right now this unusual weapons, this like three unusuals and this all class unusual. So we're down to four unusuals from all that dude. Can't believe I made it out and I'm making profit on top of that. That was super hard just to try and get the old prices I bought for. But instead, I'm even making profit on this. And on top of that, we have 15 keys and a half pure. And yeah, to the next rate. All right, and in this very next trade, I'm already selling my uh, my Ammonites all class unusual that I got it for a mixed offer that was totaling at 28 and a half keys. Um, so this guy came in offering 30 keys, right? Which is already a key and a half profit. When that happens, when someone offers you something that's already profit, always try to push it a little bit more. I said I was looking for 31 if that's possible. I said that this hat is all class with a very okay effect. He said that 30 was his absolute best he can do. I was still looking for more. I said like 30 and a half, just add 0.5 keys more, right? But he said no, but he said no. This usually works, right? But this guy was fair on his offer of 30 keys. Um, yeah, that's still a key and a half profit. We take this. I mean, we traded two bad unusuals for this one, upgraded them. They were super hard to sell and we managed to work out with a key and a half profit. That's pretty good. Bro, the other guy canceled the 30 keys offer and I trade this guy the very next trade and he actually decides to do the same. 30 for the uh, hat. I negotiated the same way, 31, and then he said no, and now I tried to down to 30.5, uh, and he decided to stick to 30. So yeah, I'm reselling for 30, one and a half key profit, easy dude. So here is everything that we have left to sell. Only three unusuals are left from the ones that I initially bought before the shutdown. That's really huge, dude. Plus these two unusual weapons, which I hope I can sell soon because they are hard to sell, but they are a lot of potential profit, you know? Yeah, so we gotta wait, see if someone offers on those. We are looking now at 45 and a half keys. I'm thinking of selling this unusual to the bot when he pops back up. There is a bot that pops once in the morning that pays 13.4 keys for this unusual. Um, it's really hard to sell because STN is selling it for 16 keys and I paid 14 keys for it. I may just take 0.7 keys loss on this one. And yeah, this ones I overpaid for as well. They dropped to like 10 and nine keys, but I'll see what can I do about it. To the next trade boys. All right, and this trade is pretty much one for one. The guy just wanted an extra find, so I added it. Yeah, in this trade, I'm selling my scout unusual that I bought for 14 keys. 
I'm selling it for a heavy and usual one. Um, they pretty much similar in price as you can see. Buyer, which is a bot by the way, at 13.34 and his unusual has buyers at 13.47. Yeah, so this trade is basically one for one. The reason I did this trade is because the bot on my unusual, this bot, um, he pops only in certain times of the day. And when he's not here, like all the buy orders are at nine keys. So if we check in here, um, you see this? This is the bot, like he's, he's popping in and out. See this? He's in, he's out. So whenever he's out, I'm having a hard time selling this. I did it for this unusual because this one has way too many bots that are buying. Sure, there is this bot like closing the profit gap on me. Um, but I'm pretty positive I can get at least 14 keys back that I paid for my old unusual. And yeah, here is how the unusual looks in game. Haunted Ghost is a decent effect, so yeah, I can't complain about that one. All right, I had my unusual weapons listed in... Uh, backpack for a couple of days and bazaar and um, this guy might have caught my offer in one of them and he sent me an offer for 130 keys for both of my weapons that's instantly nine and a half keys profit so i'll take this one for sure all right i finally organized everything now here is all what we have left with um, these ones are gonna be hard to sell because I paid 14 keys for this one and 15 keys for this one. So yeah, 14 keys for this one, the bots dropped so hard. So I'm trying to post buy offers because STN still pays way more. Even though if I buy one, I can resell it to STN. Like posting this buy order, I'm hitting two birds with one stone. If someone sells it to me, I'm gonna resell to STN for profit. If not, the bots are gonna try to overcut me and therefore the buy orders are gonna go up see this bot is already like trying to overcut me uh, i paid 14 keys for this one i doubt that i'm gonna sell it for profit anytime soon and 15 keys for this one i'm, I'm trying to do the same and for now i'll just use my pure to buy more unusuals we also left with this hat that that i got it with my scout unusual uh, it was pretty much a one-to-one -one offer uh, i pretty much paid 14 keys for this one we'll see if i can sell it for more and I got on top of all of this 175 keys and a half about that so yeah all right we recently hit 900 subscribers on youtube and 100 members on my discord channel i'd like to thank you very much guys about that and therefore i'm hosting a raffle and you got a chance to win a tour of the tickets or any of this refines also Recently, I lost my side hustle and I'm dedicating most of my time to make videos for you guys. Um, it would be really helpful if you can donate something to me over in the trade link in my description below. Um, the link to this raffle will be on the this video description as well. So make sure to check this out. All right, and I've just won this auction. I did bid three keys on this Scottish resistance with pumpkin bomb spell on it. If we check the spell tiers in here, right? The weapon spells, Halloween fire is a top tier weapon spell. But the thing is Halloween fire exists only in flamethrowers, like pyro primary weapons. And um, so next comes pumpkin bombs. Uh, pumpkin bombs exists in almost every weapon, especially for rocket launchers and demo man weapons. It's highly desirable. Usually pumpkin bombs, they go for like six keys. I'd say every time I can pay three keys or less for pumpkin bombs, I would definitely do that. It doesn't matter what weapon. So I hope I can profit on this weapon. On the top of my head, I'd say pumpkin bombs value is around like four to five keys it depends on the weapon of course but yeah i do think three keys is pretty safe to pay for this especially if we consider that there is no pumpkin bombs existing in the market right now as you can see yeah this one is festivized this one is double spelled and it's 20 keys i believe we can get very good amount of profit from this so i'll go ahead and finish the bid um, so if you are wondering about the difference between normal weapon and pumpkin bombs weapon, the normal weapon, like look at the explosion. Let's test the weapon we just got. Look at the explosion. Oh my God. Wow. I, I'm not sure if that's worth three keys, but yeah. And there we go, we left with this unusual plus the other two unusuals, the Scottish resistance and 172 keys. And yeah, catch you guys in the next trade. All right, and I found this guy on a trading server who was looking to buy stuff for cheap. So I offered him my Scottish resistance and he agreed to do four keys. Initially, I got it for three keys. So that's a key profit. And there we go. 
we got the keys. I mean, it can go for like five keys, I think, maybe even six keys because it's the only one in the market. But yeah, I'll take one key profit on if I can. Um, so now 176 keys and a half plus the unusuals I have. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe to help me with the YouTube algorithm. And peace.